What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is all about Amazon. They refreshed all their Echo products, so let's talk about those. The first is the Echo Auto, which allows you to take Alexa on the road, so it'll power uh, by the 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket or USB in your car. And then from there, it connects either via 3.5 millimeter audio jack or Bluetooth. And it gives you basically has eight mics built into it and you can talk to it like it's Alexa. I don't know why you would do this. I, I would think you'd probably just either use Google uh, or if you're using an iPhone, I would assume you would just use uh, a Siri. Other than that, I think this is kind of a weird product. I just looking at it on the on a, on a surface level, I would not recommend it uh, unless you're a huge Amazon fan. But even then, I mean, you can have Amazon built the Alexa built you know app into onto your phone. So again, I, I think it's kind of a weird product. I, it's only twenty five dollars though. Next up, we have the Echo Dot. The Echo Dot has been improved. The sound is now seventy percent louder. Still same fifty dollar price tag. And all these products are gonna come out October 11th, and this is basically just a smart speaker. We then have the Echo Plus, which is a premium sound with built-in smart home hub, so it has the Zigbee hub built right into it. Price tag, 150 bucks. Uh, it's supposed to be more powerful. It's a uh, three inch uh, subwoofer built into it. And uh, it's, like I said, if you, the cool thing about this one is, um, if you have, you know, for instance, smart lights, and you have them hooked up via this thing, you can still control those lights even if your internet goes out. We then have the Echo Show, which they did have an Echo Show that was really ugly. It looked like an old school TV. Uh, this is an updated one and um, there's no front facing speaker uh, grill on there. Uh, it's the, the screen is three inches larger, so I believe that brings it up to about 10 inches. You then have updated resolution. It's now 720p, five megapixel camera built into it, Dolby processed sound. And the processor is still the same, the price tag, $230, so it's fairly expensive, October 11th release date. And lastly, they have the Amazon Fire TV Recast that lets you watch and record over the air HD TV broadcast. And with this one, you it'll record, you know, ABC, NBC, Fox, anything you can pick up over the air. It has two HD tuners, so you can watch one, record one, and 500 gigs of storage will allow for 75 hours of video. But then from there, you have to watch the video either back on like another Fire TV device or an Android or iOS device, or you can even watch it on the uh, Fire Show, which is the, I mean the Echo Show, which is that smart uh, display. But anyways, this is gonna go for $230, or you can get the upgraded model that has double the storage and tuners for 270 bucks. And our last story of the day is about that Samsung 4X event. If you don't remember, I put a video out maybe a week or two ago about an event that was Samsung putting out uh, that said 4X, four times the fun. And now we have a little bit more information and that says 4X the fun, a Galaxy event, watch here on October 11th, 2018 at 1700 Malaysia time. So it's gonna be in Malaysia and it's supposed to be, at least what the rumors are to come out, the Samsung Galaxy A9, which is a mid-tier phone. It's not gonna be a phone that probably a lot of people are dying to get their hands on. Um, S9 and Note 9 should still be better phones. Um, so looking like the A9 for the four times fun, and it will have four cameras on the back. At least that's the rumor anyway. So there you guys go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. When is enough enough? When is there gonna be too many cameras on the back of the phone and you're gonna be like, uh, four is enough, five is enough, two is enough, three enough. Let me know the model cameras on the back where you're just gonna be like, dude, it's completely ridiculous. I think for me, I think three is like, even three seems like a lot, but I don't know. It, it just, two seems enough, but yeah, I think three is the max. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.